But yeah, I was messing with some settings in uh, in Doom. So we've been doing ultraviolence, fast enemies, pistol start, right? You get in the motherboard today. Nice, awesome. I look forward to maybe we'll maybe we'll game together. Maybe we will get the gaming together. Um, let's see. We gotta change gameplay settings. We want fast monsters. Where is it? Jesus Christ! The, this a lot going on in the background. There we go. Yes. Yo, I also I got um. I got Super Mario Party and played that with my family, and it is amazing. Gaming, what, whatever, man. If you want to play, I know we played Left 4 Dead a lot, and then there's that new game like Back for Blood, which is supposed to be like the same thing. Uh, I don't know if you're interested in that, but I would totally play that. That would be that would be a fun thing to go through. We could do we could do Halo. I know I know you like Halo. Um, lots of stuff, man. Um, I think that was all I, uh, that's all I need to change. So we're going to do pistol start. We got, we're shores of hell, ultra violence, fast enemies are on. All right, we got to, so I upped the graphics a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. There we go. Just like that, we got a rifle. Yeah, I hope so, man. It'd be cool to see you up and, up and gaming. Back in action, you know? Oh! Oh, that started nice. Okay. Um, fast enemies. No freaking joke. Um, Alright. Get the rifle back. That's easier. But yeah, hopefully you don't have to spend any more money yet. Hopefully you're all set, ready to go. Like, I definitely want to get a newer graphics card at some point. Um, but this this one's been, it's been running pretty, pretty alright. Jesus, I can't get through that. Um... But you know, obviously, there's always room for improvement. It's, uh... okay. Damn it! Wow! I keep stepping in this triangle that kills you. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I feel about this computer. It's like a little outdated, but it still runs everything just fine. It's just that there's so much more stuff. Like, I don't know what this ray tracing crap is, but um, clearly it's something important. <laughs> but I know it doesn't do that.
I did see somebody playing Doom Eternal with ray tracing on. It's pretty crazy. Like, there's the... Um, there's that one level in the uh, expansion pack where you you run around in the rain. And it's like, you can see the rain, like, accumulating on the scope and everything. And it's, like, even fogging it up a little bit. It's, it's crazy how, like, detailed it is. But it's definitely not n integral to enjoying the game. Oh, shit. The only problem with Halo is it's spat out an error message that there's no memory. Hmm. Oh sh Christ, I keep hitting the wrong button. My my hand my hand placement was off. There we go. Run equals true. So we can go in here. It's only from Halo Anniversary Multiplayer. Interesting. Nothing else has that error. What if you just reinstall it? Like, just uninstall it and reinstall it. it. Might actually not be a problem at all, just, uh... Something ain't right. Oh, yeah, doubling RAM will... will fix it as well. Well, actually, it might not, because if you weren't below your recommended... That might not solve it, you know? Also, you can see in the Cacodemon's uh, projectile... The, uh... The graphics updates I did. Looks a little better. Only using 7% CPU for the game and stream. That's not bad, right? I think the problem with Halo 2, though, is uh, it's like rendering both the Anniversary Edition and the, uh, the regular version at all times. So, it actually, even though it doesn't look very good, at least on the uh, regular mode, it's still computing. Like, I may be totally wrong about that, but I think that's what's going on. Also, how's the sound? Is it well balanced between me and the game? That's another thing I was messing around with. I, w I was messing around with the uh, the audio. Oh, you know what? I'm out of ammo. Sounds fine. Good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Wow, you just... <laughs> They just kecked themselves. Whew. Okay. They got the CAC W. Whoa, whoa! There we go. Play more PMD. What was PMD? I forget.
Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Well, that's just something that I've, I kind of added into the rotation uh, in the situation where I want to play like a roguelike, but uh, don't want to play Darkest Dungeon. Ah! So it's kind of like a tertiary game for me. Guess I'll die then. Like, I, I, I don't consider the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon like uh, uh, the main the main thing that I'm going to focus on. That's why I wanted something roguelike so it's like I could just play it whenever, uh, you know, I didn't have time for my regularly scheduled stuff or like I just wanted to do something a little different. Like, I will still play, uh, Darkest Dungeon. Things like that. Um... There we go. Exactly, when I want something a little less dark, a little less gory, bloody, diseasey. Because that's another thing about uh, Darkest Dungeon. It's all death and pestilence and all that stuff. And I probably won't even be playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon either because I'm going to be playing Pokemon proper. We, I'm going to start the uh, Leaf Green. Yeah, when, when I want uh, it, I don't want the darkest dungeon. I want just a dungeon. Ah! There you go. Eat shit. Oh my god. Yo, the, <laughs> the power boot I got is awesome. That's berserk, I guess. The only problem is my health is really low now. I cheated, but that's okay because this game cheats with this puzzle. This forces you to stand in goo. I just look at the ceiling. Oh, the, the the ceiling lights got you. Yeah, I figured there was like a straightforward solution, but but I could jump. That's when, whenever I have a, a benefit to playing Brutal Doom. I will, because for the most part, it's not a benefit. It, it makes the game harder. Just the enemies are tougher. Ugh, I need to shave, man. I, I have like stubble and it's killing me. Oh my god, you know, speaking of killing me. I, I can't like stop. Like, grabbing my face, you know? Oh, come on! Oh! I'm backed against the wall and I can't strafe their... Cock. Alright. That was my fault for standing in the, uh... In those blue lights. I didn't think the blue lights hurt you like that. So, let's see. Boom. Whoa! Meanwhile, behind me, this is brewing. So we got a yellow card. 
Look at that. I don't know if you could tell on the uh, screen, but it looks so much better. I'm playing it at uh, 1440 now. It's like 2560 by 1440. It looks so good. Looks like the capture is nice still. I don't think it makes a difference though. I was just curious if it could do it. Pokemon Red Blue is vague. A little bit, yeah. Definitely, especially for a scrub like me that gets lost easy. Clarifies that you should talk to everyone and such. Nice. Yeah, I mean, that's usually a good quality of life upgrade. Like, actual... Sensical dialogue. <laughs> It even does type matchup. God bless. Because, let me tell you, I was never good at that. I always go opposite. I always, instead of grabbing the Pokemon that's like strong, I always pick the one that's like opposite. Like the one that is like super, gonna get super damaged. Where was that red door? Was it? It was in here somewhere, right? That's a yellow door. Wow, they opened the door for you, though. Yeah, it definitely does sound like something handy. There you go. Go ahead. The two most aggressive demons in the game. The friggin' Pinky and the Brain. Need the chain gun. All right, we got all the keys. Now I need to get the hell out of here. I know it's it's in this room though, right? It's in this like with the boxes.
The Teachy TV. Like visual tutorial. I don't know if I need to get that in depth with the teaching, but you never know. Especially having played it already, I probably won't need any of it. Because uh, that game wasn't exactly, like, difficult to understand. It's just, you know. Oh, no, I guess I was wrong. It's not, there's not a red door here. I think we got to go back through the the other zone here. It's just fun to watch. Well, that's good. Always down for fun. Ultimately, that is the whole point of playing video games. Not just creating content. There it is. Okay. How did that hit me? Out of there. Even after all that exploring, only got 33% of the secrets? Alright. Son of a bitch! What? What is this level? Like, how did, how are you going to start a level like that? <laughs> that was so evil. Well, I guess that's appropriate then. Evil is good. It is playing the intermission music, yeah. <laughs> you know what I have? This. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Come on, dude, do better. You suck. That wasn't a very good, uh, buddy. Alright. Perfect. Let me go back and get that suit. Oh, th these guys. Yep. Okay. Oh, 
Everything's very fast. <laughs> fast Monsters is living up to its name. You could disable it. Well, that's good. Yeah, I, I would probably disable it. I don't want something constantly telling me what to do, you know? I do like to figure things out on my own. You know, there comes a time, of course, where I do, like, reach out for help, but, like, for the most part, I like to figure things out. I didn't get anything when I went there, did I? Keep it on for tight matchups? Yeah, maybe. Did I miss a door somewhere? <sighs> All right. Not here. Is there a blue card? I feel like I've done everything here. Is there like a teleport I need to go through? You think as much as I play this game, I would like memorize it, but I, I really have a hard time memorizing all these levels. Uh, I don't have a blue card. See, I'm back here. How did I not see this earlier? Found the blue card. Oh, shit! Okay. Ooh, okay. Now we're talking. All right, so we got the blue card. We could move on with our lives here. The blue door was... This way. You can run inside the Sylph Co. Oh, he was shooting my friend. Friend! Ah. 
Oh, sh sorry, dude. I don't know if there's friendly fire, though. Oh, get off him! Come on, man! That guy sucked. Didn't do shit. Oh, that's a Baron. Hello. The old bait and switch Baron. All right. There's got to be more stuff in here, though, right? Not really. Nah. All right. Wait. Something I should do? What's that? I'm scared. <laughs> What's up, lady, with the pew pew pew? Pew pew indeed. Alright. Doom 3. You know, I've been thinking about Doom 3. That's more of like a horror game. I was wondering, maybe I should do that in October. This level is doo doo. Yeah, they made it better in, in uh, Brutal Doom though. They added like they added those scientists. There's another like enemy that they added to it. it made it interesting. But yeah, overall this this level kind of sucks. But I am a big fan of Doom 3. It's huge but bland. Yeah, that's definitely accurate. The good thing about big levels, you can shoot these. What the? Hold on. There we go. Alright, we got a friend. Somebody's shooting at me. Oh! There's the, the secret enemy I was talking about. No! Okay, he's good. There it is. <laughs> oh! Doom 3 on Nightmare. Uh, don't they just reduce your health to 20 at all times? So, like, even if you health up, if you're not progressing, you're just dying. I, I think I've beaten Doom 3 on Nightmare before. It was not easy. 
And then they give you a, a health item, right? The the hyper cube. Blue key. Where's the blue key? Yeah, I, I do remember that about Doom. Doom three. Yeah, you start with the soul cube, but if I remember correctly, the reason you start with the soul cube is because you have to beat the game to unlock Nightmare. So you have to actually get the soul cube in game uh, before you can do that. Let them go at it here. <sighs> All right, let's go. Okay. Nice. Not doing too good with health, though. Oh, he just got eaten by a caco demon. Well. He got cacked. Indeed. Trying to remember. Is there. How do you get out of here? There you go. Just jump. Damn it.
god! He... They move fast! Ah. Okay. Got one. <laughs> There's a baron somewhere. There he is. He lost me. Now we did. All right, so we came in here. There. Down there. Fell down there. Alright, where else are we going here? There's a teleport here. There we go, okay. Wait. How do you get the... Hmm. I can really go for that right now. Trying to remember this level. Jesus Christ, the the impossible to not get shot moments are just fantastic. There you go. Okay. Health is not good. I knew it. Damn it.
This level is super scary. Hey! No! <sighs> that was bad. There we go. Oh, that get. Hey, oh, no. There we go. Pulped. Freaking pulped. Where? There. Whoa, this this room looks different. Yay. Yes. Stop this. Where? No! Stuck. I got stuck on something. Damn, dude. Okay. Cool one hit point brib. Damn, the fast enemies thing is just crazy. Pure pandemonium. Okay, here's the crazy room, right? This is where everything was... <laughs> Pandemonium is... Oh, that's right. There is, in fact, a level... ...called Pandemonium. That is true. There we go. Get this guy. Find out on the next episode. Of Kick W Demons. Hello. Please don't be stuck in the wall, dude. Ah! Oh, this is good, though. This is good, and this is bad. Get him. Got him. Because now we get... Yoink! I'm going to save after that one. Alright, so now we should be able to go outside. Do some damage.
Indeed bloody mad. Yo, my friend just got... <laughs> he just... He got got, man. Oh, no. Alright. Yeah, he, uh... Didn't do too good there. The important thing is... I'm okay. Yikes! That's it? Chainsaw? Skin your ass raw! Limp biscuits in the house! Shit. Shit. Okay. I am just going wherever. in here? Holy shit, I was about to save. Did I save? Did I forget to save? Oh, man. Love getting stuck on the corner of a door. <laughs> hey, you know the the sound effects commands are. Uh, live if you ever want to mess around with those. I, I find them hilarious. I don't know. I think I'm on my own though. You have games that you play and enjoy that no one wants to play with you? Like what? You think it would be something I'd like? You know, I did enjoy ter Terraria. Uh, I stopped playing, just for whatever reason. But I, I did enjoy the time I spent with it. So that might be something that we could pick up. You enjoy watching that? Well, I mean, I I, I could play it or uh, 
stream it. Either way, I found it. I found it to be a fun game. Seems like a trap. Multiplayer Terraria is fun. Yeah, I, I haven't done it. It does sound like fun. Woo! Am I back at the beginning? Back at the beginning, like where the hell, where have I not gone yet? <laughs> Don't touch the fire. Get it. That table saved me. Oh my god. <laughs> Playtime. So I'm here. <sighs> All it was was pinkies. Something lowered in here. Oh, what's this? Freaking yikes. Ah! What the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, come on now. That's it? That's what this was? What the fuck is the point of this room? I hate it! right side of the room? I have no idea. All I know is these things.
I don't know if I cleared it, but let's save. Alright, I think we're clear now. There's something here. Oh, here we go, here we go. What? Is that the secret exit, though? Oh, joy. Okay. Holy shit, this gun's loud. Ah! All right. That. Cock. No! I think there's more. I hear more. There. Okay. Can I get some health? Maybe? That'd be cool. That's not health. Cack room. Now we're talking. Now we're talking cack. Yeah, I'll do more Crash Team Racing. I don't mind. I I know, like, unfortunately, it's not my favorite racing game, but I don't hate it. Like, I will, I will play it again. Ooh. Ooh. You know, I'd be willing to play it more. What's this mess? Yeah, that was kind of pointless. But hey, we got everything. The holes of the damned. It's funny, that time I was I was ready to dodge like right in the beginning and then there was nothing there. All right, the music is pretty epic yikers. Stop that. I, I think I remember this level. Yeah, I remember this level. This one's kind of a pain in the ass, too. I got 100% and beat part time. I didn't even notice the part time. Nice. This is another one of those levels where I find to be, like, over, over large and uh, a little bare bones. <laughs> And this beginning part kind of annoys me.
Yeah, there's a little bit of a maze to it as well. Adventure mode in Crash Team Racing 100%? Uh, maybe. I do recall it being a little bit more fun just unlocking stuff um, and playing, playing the races. Yeah, the, adv oh, the adventure mode where it's like you have to come in first and it's like super hard. Uh, that, that got old. Shit, there's a Hell Knight right there. No, that's a Baron, actually. Oh, God. You must become first. If you're not first, you're last. Which is literally the plot of Crash Team Racing. Alright, so I guess this... This item is supposed to make it eek. E yeah, easier to walk through here. Oh, these lost souls are the worst! Ah! Hey, Pinky saved the day there. Or, I should say, Spectre saved the day. There's a red key. Oh, shit. Even with the flashlight, they made this, this stage a bit challenging. No! 
assholes. All right, so we got the blue card and the red card. I think the blue card was the one right at the beginning, all right? Divide and conquer, baby. What did I just say? Are you shooting, bro? Very thankful that there's no friendly fire in this game. I think I shot that dude more than anybody else. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. I can't change my weapon. Oh, friggin', I hit the... I keep hitting the say button. Which screws me over. I think there were more, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm happy with 97. What did I say? I said, because I'm just mashing the. Oh, we need a yellow card. Damn it. Okay. Going back in. Yellow card. I think this... The only place I haven't gone is behind here. Yes. Wait, why is there a yellow... You need a yellow card to get in here? Wait. This is all jacked up, because where? what's with all the... This, is that a separate exit? Is that a secret? No. It's a trick. I, I, I've done this part before. Yep, I remember this. I do remember this. What the fuck was that? What happened? I didn't even know what killed me there. Something just squished me or something. What was it? Was it this guy? Did you kill me? This is a fake door. It is a squish. Okay. All right. All right. I saw it. Clever. All right, so this is this is it, right? This is the fake room. Um, I I don't even need to go in there. There's nothing even in there. Whoa. I'm 
haven't gone this way yet. So we don't. Yeah, we still haven't gotten the yellow card. There it is. Get up. I have a flamethrower. All right, we got it. We got all the keys. Let's get the hell out of here. This is a fake yellow door. Okay. Like that, yeah, that's a, that's a debate door. Not interested. And I'm pretty sure the other yellow door over there is fake. Like you go there and it's like a trap. If I remember that correctly. I'm missing out. I should go. All right, I'll do it. I mean, I don't mind, but I know it was a trap. I'll just save before I go. Right, like this is this is fake, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Yep. Wonder, do you get anything out of doing this though? Probably, right? Oh, it's the map. That's it? Oh, health? Alright. Well, whatever. I don't hate it. I don't hate lots of health, but I certainly didn't need the trouble. Doing imps and close quarters, so I'm gonna get the shot. Nice. Okay. Can't move. That's a lot of pinkies.
Hey, this guy, I keep thinking he's dead because he just keeps randomly disappearing, but he's good. Alright, got a blue card. I have assembled a squad. How do you open that? So we got that. Guess get back through here. Got a berserk. Invincibility. What do I do with this blue card? Invincibility is running out. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> I feel like I need a gun. Whoa! Hey! Dude, my friend is so fast! Look at him go! Oh boy. Get this guy out here. Shit. Shit. Of course. I think I may have screwed myself with the armor.
Alright, so... Things are getting a little bit spooky. Gonna save a lot more. I don't have a red key. So... Yeah. Yellow key. I think my partner in crime might have died. Wait, I didn't get the yellow card though. That does not work. Is there a switch? Oh, he is still alive. I see your doors opening everywhere. Where have I not been yet? Yeah, this is my favorite part of the game is where I just get completely lost. Right at the exit, mind you. That does hurt, okay. Uh, yellow card. What the hell? What is the sound of doors keep opening? So let's see. This way. Oh, this way. Looks like... Go this way. I got your back. I think I heard something. 
Here we go. Jesus Christ, that was way too annoying. Now we have the yellow card. I think there was another place I could go with the yellow card, right? All the way out there. Already did that. Um, I need to... Oh my god, I need the red card. There's the red card! Let's get the hell out of here! Screw this level, it's so bad. Yes! The Tower of Babel. Oh, okay, I know where I am. I know this level. Cyber Boy! And these things. Wow, nice spoiler there. Just go ahead and put up his health bar. Right, so let's get rid of these things first. I didn't get a BFG, did I? This whole time. So it doesn't have a BFG? Okay. Well, then I don't feel bad. I didn't miss anything. Jesus Christ. Big. Wow. It's kind of Keck W here. So he's he's literally stuck. No, no. Okay. I did get a lot of free damage in there though. Like he did, like, I just ate shit. Yeah. I mean, he w he was inching away. I I'm sure there was a way I could have baited him back a little bit, but I just did not do that. Where is he? There he is. Okay. Son of a bitch. Lost souls.
He definitely was almost dead. That's all right. Stop. There we go. Where is he? I don't need this yet. Oh! Where's the Where's the super healy boy? Well, there's that guy. Come on. There we go. Okay. Even though I think he'll one-shot me anyway. Okay. See if we can clear these guys out through here. You're not very smart, are you, dude? Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, he's chipping away at him, at least. Whoa! Turns around mighty quickly. Kind of cheese him around corners still. Seems to be like a pretty safe thing. Like shooting over his shoulder. Shoot. Oh. You, you, you know, man. Don't open all the doors.
Definitely want to get rid of all these things first. Alright. Oh, you haven't even shot him yet. Come on, man. So we gotta flip flip them around. We gotta get them chasing us in the damn other direction. You notice anything, buddy? Come on. Anything of interest here? Oh, he's pulped. Freaking pulped. No. Yeah, any, anything interesting going on? Any, anything in the anything in the vicinity? You want to do a little little perimeter check here? Oh yeah, he has ceased to be. He has officially noticed Cyberdemon. Okay. Uh-oh. Am I hitting him? No. There we go. GG Decent cyber demon there. You've done it! The hideous cyber demon lord that ruled the lost Demos moon base has been slain. And you are triumphant, but where are you? You clambered to the edge of the moon and looked down to see the awful truth. Demos floats above hell itself. You've never heard of anyone escaping from hell, but you'll make the bastards sorry they ever heard of you. Quickly, you rappel down to the surface of hell. Now it's on to the final chapter of Doom, Inferno. Final. Imagine thinking Inferno was the final chapter. Okay, well that was uh that was, that that was wild. The fast enemies definitely adds like a nice uh, nice challenge here. I enjoyed it. We got the secret level in and everything too, huh? That's awesome. Wow. Um cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think this song actually played during the stream tonight. Um so yeah, next time next time we play um I do want to start Pokemon soon. Um, I just don't want to do it when I'm tired or whatever, because I don't want to. I don't want to have to call it like an early night. So um, I've been kind of, you know, I've been kind of picky as to when I play games like that, especially coming off of the Final Fantasy grind. Uh, you know, we played played the shit out of that game. We got like we got all the achievements and all that stuff. Uh, War Mech, the Bestiary, everything. You know. So, figure it's a good idea to not jump right back into a uh, a, a large game like that. Even though Pokemon isn't quite that that large, it's not as bad as Final Fantasy. But. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't know. I just wasn't ready to start Pokemon yet. That's all. But we'll do it. 
either if not at all this week then the weekend uh tomorrow I'll probably either do another chapter of brutal doom or darkest dungeon um definitely feeling feeling the uh, adrenaline kicking games so we'll do some more of that and um and yeah, and also another thing is, uh, after I'm done Pokemon, it'll probably be around September. Towards the end of September, I want to do another Oktoberfest thing, where we uh, do a bunch of multiplayer games. Uh, so if you have any idea of a multiplayer game that you want to play with me on stream, uh, let me know. Obviously, I do still have uh, Crash Team Racing if you want to do that. We could do Terraria, we could do chill stuff like that. But, uh, you know, Oktoberfest, in the, in the spirit of Oktoberfest, we're going to do beer, games, and stuff like that. Um, I don't have Dead Rising, but yeah, once October does start, I am going to do horror again. Um, I was thinking I might do Resident Evil Village on hardcore mode. Um, Dead Rising 2 has co-op. I gotta see, man, because sometimes those those games go on sale, like, hard. Like, you can probably get them for, like, $2. So, it, hopefully we could get a sale like that. I'll, 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 put, I'll add it to my wish list, so if it if it does, I'll see it. Um, I would prefer co-op, though, yeah. Are you interested in playing um, Back for Blood? It's basically the it's basically like the spiritual successor, I guess, of Left 4 Dead. I know we we did a lot of Left 4 Dead back in the back in the day. Um, let me see, Back for Blood. You have no you have no interesting on playing Back for Blood. Why not? You liked uh, you liked Left 4 Dead. Let me see. Dead Rising. Dead Rising. Yeah, like they're twenty bucks, but I've seen them go as low as like two dollars. You haven't played it in years, so it's just it's just kind of it's gone, I guess. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Um. Yeah, I'll add it to my wish list. Dead Rising Two. That way, I will get an email if it uh, if it goes on sale. There's a triple pack too. You could get Dead Rising, Dead Rising Two off the road. Oh, that's lame. It'd be cool if there was more uh, more stuff in there. Don't want to play the first. Um, you know, I played the first one a lot. Um, it started out as more of like a cheesy horror game, and then it like advanced into like a GTA with uh, zombies. I kind of like the GTA with zombies part. It's Dead Rising 2, but better. Off the record. Well, uh, I added it to the cart. If it goes on sale, uh, it'll also tell me that the bundle is on sale. And usually if one goes on sale, they all do. So, um, if that does happen, I'll just, I'll, I'll pick up the franchise if that's something you're interested in seeing. Um, cause I, I like Dead Rising. It was fun. I don't know how, how it aged, but I'm looking at the screenshots of it. It still looks pretty fun. Cool. All right. Well, that's it for me. I'm going to call it a night. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, not sure what I want to play yet. I just know that uh, I'm having fun with Doom right now. And as I always do. And uh, I do have the, the urge to play um, Darkest Dungeon again. And uh, yeah, no, I, I remember that I had a 360... That was a long time ago, it feels like. I had a 360 um, when it first came out. I had a launch day console. Okay, I could tell you a quick story, actually. It was really funny. So, I never cared about launch day consoles, right? I never cared about them, but I always managed to get them somehow. And, um... 
it's usually a boring reason why I get it. Like, I had a friend that worked in the Best Buy warehouse, and he would get me one. I had a friend that worked at Blockbuster, and they would get consoles. Um, you know, things like that. And then, um, but the 360, man, I was, what was it? My friend, my friend worked at the airport and there was a mall right next to the airport. So, you know, he, he said, you know, I I have to go to work. I have to go to the airport. And I was like, all right, well, I'll tell you what, I'll get up nice and early. I'll drive you out there and then I'll swing by the mall and see if I could just get a 360 because it's supposed to come out. So I went, dropped him off. Went to go get the, the 360. I parked in the parking lot. And then I walked to the locked door. I was going to wait by the door. And um, the cleaning crew came by and thought I was in the cleaning crew. Opened the door and just let me in. So I was in the mall at the... It was an FYE. I was at the FYE, which was also closed and locked. So the mall was locked. And the individual stores inside were locked. So I was in the mall. So I was the only one waiting at the FYE. And everybody else was waiting outside the mall. Because they they locked the door behind us. <laughs> so I was like, well, I guess I'm getting a 360. And I go there. And they literally had like two of them or something. They had like... There was like two models. There was like the, the big one and the small one. And... Um, yeah, like that. They they had like one big one and then like like two or three small ones. So I grabbed that. I could have been a jerk and bought them all and then try to resell them like people do today. But you know I'm not like that. Yeah, now you had the arcade version. I had one that turns out it's like a collector's item. I had the Halo Three. It was like green and orange. I went out and I don't know. I don't recall why. Oh yeah, I bought that because. My first 360 died, and then um, Halo 3 was coming out, and I I was like, I'm not I'm not gonna not get th- uh, Halo. Like Halo was my favorite. You, you know, I always say Halo used to be my favorite. So when uh, they announced that one, I went and I bought that. I know I don't know what happened to that one though. I think I did. I sell it or trade it in? Man, those were stupid times, man. I used to trade stuff in. I would never trade something in now. Especially, I, I bet you I bet you on eBay. Let me see how much that thing costs. I guarantee that thing is worth money. Like, good money. Let's see. Xbox 360 Halo. Oh, Halo 3 Edition. Oh, I'm wrong. It's not worth that much. It's worth like 60 bucks. Okay. Well, I don't feel too bad then. But yeah, it, it, I mean, it was cool. It, I liked it. It was a nice one. I, I think that, that counts. No, that's not the Slim, is it? That's the original. Anyway. <laughs> you wish you had stuff back then that you would have taken better care of? Yeah, I know. It was it was stupid times. That it was when GameStop was kind of like in its prime, where they were just like, "Yeah, trade in five games and get a new game half off or something." And it's like, "Whoa, you know, well, I'm not gonna play these games ever again." You know, here I am. I still play like Mega Man and Doom. You talk about never play these games again. I wish I still had my Steelbook edition of Doom Three for the 360, man. No, it wasn't even the three. It was the original Xbox. Yeah, Doom 3 was on the regular Xbox in Steelbook. That and Halo 2 I had. She Good times, man. All right. I will catch you guys tomorrow with some more video gaming. And, uh... Chill. Sure.